All right, so this is uh, this is gonna be a video. I've got a 2015 WRX. I've got the stock standard sound system. Um, sounds like crap, most of you know that. So I am upgrading. My assistant will hold my phone for me, please. And so what I'm gonna do is, these are the stock speakers. Um, I've gotten it this far. Thing with Subaru is that they've got these funky little plastic flanges that bolt to stock holes in the door. Um, most of the speakers that you buy don't have anything that matches these. So something like Crutchfield will make um, an adapter plate that you can screw a speaker to. Well, I don't want to spend that extra money and I don't want to wait for a week for Crutchfield to send me those. So I'm going to show you guys how to make that adapter plate out of the stock Subaru speakers. And um, yeah, so here are the speakers that I am going to put in. Uh, these are kickers and they're 100 bucks a pair so i think i got them on sale um so if you look at these kicker speakers you can see the difference in magnet size from stock to the kicker um the kicker has a pigtail uh that comes with the speaker subaru's got this factory adapter so what we're going to do is we're going to make these things fit but i can't just do that because this flange pushes all the way up against the inside of the door so what we're going to do is we're going to cut some stuff. Let me see if this blade's any good. Maybe. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, Riley, see if you can get over here. So this is your rubber lip for your speaker. Can you see that pretty good, Rai? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to just cut, and I'll just start doing it and show you what I'm doing. But we're going to cut this rubber lip all the way around. And if you have a good knife, this is the fourth speaker I've done. Now you'll notice if you if you get... So I didn't do a, anything about pulling the door panel off, getting the speaker out. You don't have to try and get in here while I'm doing this, babe. You can kind of look at me because okay. they got to just... They can see what I'm doing and then I'll show at the end. Um, so... If you get, if you, I, I didn't do anything with the door panel, getting the door panel off, because if you don't know how to take the door panel off in your car, you probably shouldn't be trying to do this. Um, so as you can see, I've gone all the way around this lip and I've cut the rubber of the, the factory speaker out. Uh, get you a good box cutter, it'll be all right. So then if you look at the back of the speaker, we've got these tangs here and those hold the speaker back body for the magnet away from the rest of the speaker. And so I just got some little cutters and we're just gonna cut all these little clips off. And the speaker falls apart. Um, you grab your knife, we can do a little cleanup on the rest of these tangs that are in here. You don't have to. Um, I don't think, in the grand scheme, they're going to really be in the way. But I like to have my stuff kind of cleaned up, even though I'm jerry-rigging it all. All right. So now what we've got is this speaker body and the recess that that speaker sat away in. So again, we don't want our speaker... Now, if you look in here, I don't know if you can see in this video, but see this shiny? This ring is actually just glued to this backer. So I just use a pair of vice grips, and give it a little twist. And you'll see there are some factory seams that'll snap. And then you can just start peeling this away a piece at a time. So this is what you're left with. Now, when you do this in the front, the body of this speaker, they actually have, have this flange is kind of tapered. And so what happens is it aims up. So it's not aiming right at your leg in the door. It aims up kind of towards you. So there is an orientation for the front ones. There's an orientation for the rear two. They actually say up. There's an up arrow shows you which way to go so that you don't get confused. But... Um, 
Um, so again, when you're doing the front ones, pay attention to the orientation of how that flange is, is going to be skinnier towards the top and kind of towards the front of where it's going to mount fatter towards the bottom, which is going to push that speaker up like this. So Riley, follow me. Now we're going to go on over here. We're going to come, come on over here. We're going to go, this is my work. This is my work dryer. So now you can see, oh, forgot one other thing. We're going to come back over here real quick. You're going to need to get some kind of cutting tools, dikes, something like that. I'm actually just using gardening shears. I got a good flat side and then a pointy side. And these little tit tabs have to come off. So you can cut them off. Most of the time they'll just pop. And if you kind of angle it and give it one more, you can get it to go down. And then kind of use that to bend them over. And we're gonna bend those tabs in so that we get a nice good circle all the way around the speaker. And again, just kind of snap them off. Pieces do go flying, so you might want to wear glasses when you're doing this. Or which you're not. Oh, thanks. Once you get locked on to them, you can do what I did and close your eyes so when the piece goes flying, it doesn't fly and hit you. Um, I got my little smart aleck 10 year old apprentice here. Telling me how I'm violating safety ordinances <laughs> and stuff. Um, if you don't feel comfortable cutting these tabs off, what you can do, um, I'll show you kind of, I'm not going to do it, but I'll show you over there. Um, is you can set this thing in our little ring that we just made oh these are the these are the kicker speaker covers we don't need these they won't fit inside the door um so again you can see this is a little crappy junk speaker versus this problem with these is the magnet's so small that they heat up and they just start distorting so the other thing you could do come on over here riley is if you take this and you set it down on here you can etch where your tangs go and then clock this thing but you want to clock it i don't think it matters if the speaker is really facing up or not but there is an up arrow on the bracket so um, if you clock it the problem is these two tangs get in the way of right here so you can't cut the wall out to set them in so it's easier to just cut the tabs off all right now with the um, kicker speakers they give you these like one and a quarter inch screws the problem with these screws are that once they're mounted in the speaker and the plastic body, they're going to be too deep and they're going to be longer than the flat mounting surface and they're going to interfere with the metal on the door that you're putting them in. So I went and I picked up some, uh, some number eight, five eighths long screws, just some, some regular old screws and just kind of stick them in these holes right here and... Don't over tighten because it's plastic. You don't want to strip the holes out. Um, if you strip the holes out, the speaker may vibrate itself loose. So once it starts tightening, you just want to let it bottom out. Um, you can do four screws if you do one, two, three, four. I'm just going to do three. Uh, I think that's going to be... plenty although I did exactly what I said not to do and over tightened that one so I think I'm gonna add one just for actually I'm gonna add one here we're gonna move this one so there you have that all right now we have our aftermarket speaker in our stock Subaru speaker mounting bracket. So now come on over here and follow me, Riley. Like I said, uh, actually, stay here. I need to go grab my knife. Say hi to Grayson. Need my knife. If I don't bring it, I'm going to have to walk over here to get it again. Don't zoom on me and follow me. because I'm just man. All right, close that front gate, Grayson. All right, so now we got the standard tools of the trade. Um, Ryan, I don't know if you're going to be able to come over here and get this. 
All right, so. Do you want me to get in the car? Uh. So I can yeah, that might help. Why don't you climb in through the other side? Or you can, either or, I don't care. You can sit on that seat right there and give this last little few minutes. Okay, so. Again, if you don't know how to take a door panel off, you probably shouldn't be trying to do the rest of this. There is some wiring involved. Um, so here is, um, this is the Subaru, factory Subaru speaker harness. Fortunately, there are only two, I think you're sitting on my knife, babe. Yep. There are only two wires inside of this thing. Uh, you can take the, 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 the housing off, this just this little sleeve, if you want. I personally cut it in half, put it back on, stick it back up in there. It's just extra protection. Um, this is pretty small gauge wire. We don't need a whole lot of exposed. So we're just gonna strip the back end of that off. This is the pigtail that comes with the speakers. Um, oops. Standard wiring, crimping type stuff. Um, so the smaller plug is the negative, the larger plug is the positive, the black stripe is the smaller plug, which is the negative. You gotta make sure that you orient those right. If you didn't already know that, um, you probably shouldn't be doing this. So we're gonna crimp these on here. It just makes it easier to hold on to in a minute. I always tend to crimp the loose stuff in my hand. Um, I'm gonna put a link on this video there's a good wiring diagram chart for 2011 fourth gen, I guess, uh, but 2011 and up um, color codes uh, on this particular door. Um, all, all, all eight wires for all four doors are different colors, but on this particular door, the black and the red one, I've already looked this up, is the positive. So make sure that you are getting these right on the first shot. It's always best to double or triple check before you start crimping. I've already done that. Um, so we're going to crimp these. Now the only difference on the front and the back in the wiring stuff is you may want to, on the back side of that plastic, um, you know, wherever you feel like it, but somewhere in here you want to probably break a little of this tab off because the wire doesn't feed behind the speaker in the front doors like it does in the rear. So you kind of want somewhere to let that wire, wire lay behind the speaker without getting um, flattened. In this particular one, fortunately, it feeds through the door, uh, so we can just leave it as it is. You got these little rubber boot sleeves on here. Um, we're going to slide these up out of the way. And I'm going to check your connectors, make sure they're open. Um, again, with the kickers, there's a big tab and a little tab, so you really can't mix them up. Just slide it on. Don't be careful to not do what I just did and bend that too many times. Those tabs will break off and you will be in a world of hurt. Um, this doesn't feel like it's open enough, so I just kind of get my... Knife tab in there and push those prongs open a little bit. Sometimes a little. Wiggling, coercing, and finessing helps to get the things on. They're pretty tight, so they shouldn't just come off. All right, so we already oriented this on the table. So now we're just going to stick this bad boy in the hole and seat screw number one and I usually start all well, anytime you got multiple screws it's best just to get it a couple of few turns in to make sure it's not gonna fall out that will help you in moving this thing manipulating around to line up the next ones you're not fighting having to go back loosening everything turn this door panel out of the way you can take the door panel all the way off if you want um okay, so go um help dad hold that i don't find that necessary um because getting those clips out 
is kind of more of a pain in the butt than it's worth just to hold it up out of the way. If you got a helper, you can use a helper to pull that up. All right, so that is speaker number four. Now, push this back up, get our plastic in place again. And we'll hang the door. When you pull your door panels off, always check the actual door itself and make sure all the plastic clips stayed with the panel and didn't stick in the door. Because really all you want to do is go around the door and bump those clips in place. And you got screw number one up here behind this little hide and peek panel in behind the handle. And you got screw number two down here. This is on all four doors in the handle hole and all these do is keep the plastic tight to the metal frame of the door so that as you're opening and closing these things over a million years we're uh not ripping this thing apart all right well that's speaker number four with riley's fingers in there <laughs> let me get some tools out of your way have a seat in the back i'm gonna start the car turn on the radio we're gonna see what the new speakers sound like see if dad can tell any difference between the ones that were there before, old junky stock ones that vibrated and sounded like crap at too much volume. I didn't put an amp in, still stock radio, I don't have any subs, but I do definitely have upgraded speakers, so, Grayson. Thanks, Grayson. Um, this is my only video I have about car speakers on wherever, so. <laughs>